Graffiti is a controversial form of visual expression. However, no one can deny its commercial appeal. The following lesson shows users how to convert a photographic image into graffiti art. To get started, make sure that you have data file graffiti.psd open. With Graffiti One Layer selected, click on the Layer menu. Scroll down to New Adjustment Layer, then select Threshold. In the New Layer dialog box, check the Use Previous Layer to Create Clipping Mask checkbox. This ensures that this adjustment layer is only going to affect the Graffiti One layer. When finished, click on the OK button. In the Adjustments panel, click on the threshold level and set it to 111. Then in the Tools panel, select the Burn tool. Double click on the Layers panel and make sure that Graffiti One layer is selected. Then click and drag on the areas of the image that need to be darkened, such as the white tank top area. Next, let's go back to the Tools panel and select the Dodge tool. We want to dodge the areas of the image that need to be lightened, such as the face and the pants area. Now go to the Filter menu, scroll down to Noise, and select Median. What we're trying to do is get rid of the jagged edges. Let's set the radius to around 3 pixels. You can drag the Median dialog box away from the image so you can see how the changes are applied. You can also uncheck and check the Preview box so that you can see the before and after the filter has been applied. If you're satisfied, click on the OK button. I'm going to select the Layers panel and drag it out so you can see what I'm going to do next. In the Layers panel, right-click on the Threshold Adjustment layer and select Merge Down. Then in the Tools panel, Right-click on the Lasso tool and select Polygonal Lasso tool. Now we're going to create a spattering effect around the edge of the image. To start, click anywhere outside of the image and continue to make a polygonal selection around the image. When finished, go to the Select menu and select Inverse. Next, select the Brush tool and select the Brush drop-down arrow to change the hardness to 0. Then we want to change the mode of our brush to Dissolve. Let's increase our brush size by clicking on the right bracket key on our keyboard. Then along the edges of the polygonal selection, drag the brush along the edges to create your splattering effect. When finished, select the Select menu and deselect your selection. Let's redock our Layers panel. Next, we want to colorize our graffiti and blend it with the background. To get started, click on the Image menu, scroll down to Adjustments, and select Hue Saturation. In the Hue Saturation dialog box, check the Colorize checkbox. Select the Lightness slider and drag it to the right to about plus 20. Then select your saturation slider and drag that to the right to about 70. If you're done with your adjustments, click on the OK button. Let's soften the edges up a bit by going to the Filter menu, scrolling down to Blur, 
and selecting Gaussian Blur. Let's set the radius to about one pixel. You can uncheck the preview checkbox to see what it looked like before and after. When finished, click on the OK button. Now back in the Layers panel, let's turn on the Brick Wall Layers Visibility by clicking on the Visibility icon. Then, with Graffiti One Layer selected, click on the Blending Mode arrow in the Layers panel and select Multiply.